cybersecurity is one of the few industries where we can really sort of still see the origin of it. You know, like if you think about like the auto industry or, or certainly finance or whatever, like it just spans, you know, decades or hundreds of years or whatever. But like there's there's like a, a, a start point more or less for cybersecurity. I mean, there's there's sort of proto variations of it that probably go back to the 70s or whatever. But, you know, it seems like you were there kind of from the beginning. So can you talk about how the cybersecurity landscape has changed since you first got into this business and what the demands were at the time versus you, as you said, now, if you have a network, you've got a problem. And I think it's a, a great sort of tent pole to hang this on, but what was it, what was it like when you got started and how, how has it sort of changed and transmogrified since then? Yeah. Yeah. So if you, if you look at late eighties, you know, um, you had uh, the transceivers and ethernet and you're creating a little local and using some ultra spark or whatever you had up there and client servers were kind of coming up that time. So it was kind of more, you know, uh, for productivity within the organizations. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, and then you, of course, you, you saw ARPANET putting the first phase of internet and then the browsers came and made this internet, you know, um, yeah. accessible to the world, the open people, web, yeah. www came up. So they kind of opened and your connectivity increased. And then, um, you know, when it was kind of isolated that way, um, it is, is palatable and you know, easy to kind of control who comes, you know, gets out. You can just throw some devices to kind of um, checkpoint, right? Uh, you, you, who comes in, who goes out, you can manage all that. And then the evolution went from being a gatekeeper to IDS, IPS, and, and looking at the data in line and uh, more network centric things happen, right? Now, as you evolve that, where all of us are walking with the, you know, that's that's a mainframe computer wise. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Right? And it's got, you know, 100x more applications than mainframe used to have. Mm -hmm. So you're accessing data. It's not come, someone coming in, coming, going out, right? Everyone's right. observing your privacy, uh, where you are, who's watching you. You know, you know, it's kind of, um, you don't know what's coming, what's going on, who's coming into. There's so many attack services now. Yeah, who's sitting in that attack surface is a multitude, uh, you know, you know, hundred X or you know, mm -hmm. thousand X, right? So, um, and then the youngsters that you know, they they, they don't really care. You know, you ask them, just they got <laughs> they pay through any payment system. Yeah, it's just a tool. It's a tool for them, and and maybe that's the right thing to do to evolve as part of the evolution there. But you know, as IT professionals, as "Quote unquote experts to keep all this sane uh, and manageable. Um, um, we have to step up um, yeah. you know, with this transformation. Keep up with how you run this stuff and make sure. And you can't be just kind of control freak. You can't be risk and compliance and protecting yep. the job or no one's going to get fired. It has to come genuinely by design, by plan. That hey, you know what? This is a big issue. How do we resolve it? Let's resolve even if it's a small piece. Get going." Don't yeah. try to boil the ocean, you know, because it could, it will look like as if you're boiling the ocean. You look at the tools, right? You know, right. most of the tools are for Fortune 500,000. You look at a million dollars here, a million dollars, and I don't want to do that. I'm going to use some open source tool, blah, 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 or our right. source. But I think you know, the security has to become mainstream of operations. It's not working in silos, right? So that's the evolution right. that we has gotten into and it's getting complex and you don't have the skills to make all this work. Yeah. Or you have the budgets and revenues to put so much energy into it, but you got to get someone to solve it. New episodes of the Cyberwork Podcast are available every Monday at 1 p.m. Central. And don't forget to check out our hands-on training series, Cyberwork Applied. Each week, expert InfoSec instructors teach you a new cybersecurity skill and show you how that skill applies to real-world scenarios. Go to infosecinstitute.com slash learn. Stay up to date on all things cyberwork.